Hey guys, Sam from Tech Fusions here, and today we've got a review on the Notchua NHU-12S CPU cooler. So this is the award-winning NHU-12S series. It's got the NF F12 Focus Flow 120mm fan, a lot to say in one go just there. As you can see, it's got the 120mm tower design so just a classic design and it's 100% RAM compatibility so you won't have problems with tool RAM or small RAM in your system build. On top it's got five uh, copper heat bytes going directly to the CPU to keep it nice and cool. There we go, it's just showing you the bottom connector. As you can see it's got two screws on the sides just there. And this is the mounting system for the CPU and it's got the instructions um, which you will need to follow. It's got the brackets, this is the AMD brackets. It does come with a little box for Intel as well. And it's got the screws and everything you need in that little box. The other accessories included is the thermal paste, the NTH1, which you have to put on your CPU. There's the screwdriver as well. You get a low noise adapter, which make the CPU fan run quieter. There's just some more edge brackets, they're a bit wider than the ones actually on the, um, that come with it. So now we're just going to have a look at what hardware I've got actually in my gaming PC build and there will be specs on the screen. So the processor is an AMD FX4100 at 3.6 GHz, overclocked to 4 GHz. It's an Asus motherboard, 8, 8 GB of RAM, dual channel. Power supply is a Corsair 650 watt. Graphics card is a GTX. 660 2 gigabyte hard drive 1 terabyte hhd and the case is a corsair 400r so i had to shoot this bit kind of freehand but here we go i'll take off the clip on mic and put it near the actual case so you should be able to hear that that's the stock cooler a little bit closer i can hear it from where i'm sitting so Hopefully you could hear that, um, hopefully you could hear me speak, but yeah, I'm going to put on the Notchua CPU cooler, let's see how it performs. So here we are again, I've got the Notchua fan installed, and I don't know if you can hear it from here, it's very quiet, I've got to say, compared to the stock one, and I've just played some games on it, and it stays very quiet, and the temperatures, oh my god, you'll see on screen in a second, but here we go. Um, I'm just going to put the microphone near the fan again, about the same different distance as I did last time. Can you hear it? I'm using the low noise adapter just there, as you can see. Got wires about the place as well, so it's not getting the best performance. But I'm going to sort my cable management out and it should be all good. But look, there's an open space there. So. But look at that, running smoothly, running perfectly. You can't really hear much to be honest. Um, I hope you could hear me when I was speaking then. What I was saying was the low noise adapters just there as well. So let's go back to the computer and check out the results. So here's the stock CPU cooler on the actual system. It's XSplit only running, um, not running any games, it's just basically idle and the ambient temperature is 17 degrees but as you can see it's running at 51 degrees right there, 50, 51, that's crazy, that was hot, so I wanted to change that. And here we go with the Notchua one, it's running idle about 24, 23 degrees, not bad at all. And the ambient temperature was fluxing with anything between 17 to 19, so keep that in mind. But definitely, it, that's a decrease right there. And here's the stock CPU cooler. I just played Street Fighter 4 for 5 minutes. As you can see, it's running at 63 degrees. That is crazy hot for a CPU. I don't like it that hot. That's why I needed a CPU cooler. And it's loud as well. You can hear it like whizzing around. And the fan sounds like it's going to explode. But there we go. And let's go and have a look at the Notchworth CPU. And here's the Notchworth CPU cooler, as you can see, with an XSplit and a game. And it's running at 28 degrees, so it's barely changed. I run it for 5 minutes as well, playing the exact same settings, but exact same characters, um, graphics settings, whatnot. And it just hasn't really changed, it didn't really affect it at all. As you can see, it's running at 120 um, RPM there. 
you can take off the low noise adapter and it run at 150 rpm overall i think this is a really good cpu cooler i haven't done a review like this before so hopefully you liked it if you did give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel for more awesome tech reviews like this on phones tablets and more i'll see you in the next ones guys Bye.